What's up, everyone? This is Edward from Carbide 3D coming at you with another screencast um, showing the new Carbide Create. So the one I have open right now, I'm running this on Windows. Uh, this is build 406 as of uh, today, which is July 1st, 2019. This is the newest build. So this is going to be a short screencast. I just want to show you how to enable pro mode and uh, give you a couple of words of warning. So you can either click on this About Carbide Create, or you can go up to Help and click About, and they both pop up this window. So to enable Pro, uh, you click this button that says Enable Pro. But here's the thing. Anything that's part of Pro may end up behind a paywall. So eventually we are going to charge um, for the Pro features. Uh, so if you don't if you don't want to get too attached to anything, just don't click Enable Pro. The program still works like it used to, uh, except with this new build, the program's actually better. Uh, we've done a ton of bug fixes and general improvements. So even if you are not going to Enable Pro mode, uh, I definitely recommend that you download the latest version of Carbide Create because there's a ton of improvements in here. But if you are going to use Pro, click Help, click About, and then click the Enable Pro button, just like that. And you'll see we've got a new tab up here called Model. And this is where all of the action uh, for the Pro features is going to happen. The other thing you're going to notice is that we got rid of the top ribbon bar, that green strip that was across the top, and we went to a general uh, menu layout. So if you're looking for something like snap to grid or reset view, those are up here now. And you'll also notice that we added an export SVG. So any design that you have on your canvas, you can click file, export SVG, and save that design as an SVG file. So that's it for this one. We'll see you next time.